Now, um, there, it's not all the time, but there are some cases where people with authorities are on the side of um, negative peace or not completely on the side of the positive peace, thinking that peace is something more idealistic. Now, in this case, I think it limits a lot of situations where a civil society, even young people, to receive and understand what positive peace is because of the lack of understanding because of due to lack of education. Now, from uh, knowing the activities of HGBPL uh, called peace education, I think they're trying to fill up this portion where the people can lack. Now, what do you think about this peace education that are provided by HGBPL? Do you think it can somehow help to under make people understand what positive peace is that you have just ex explained? I think it does. I It does in a way that HWPL keeps on investing a lot in promotion of interfaith harmony. Even if you're talking about the education section, it does focuses and emphasis upon uh, uh, the interfaith harmony. I think that is the actual problem, that we are not communicating to each other. We the humans think, I'm Muslim, he is Hindu, we are not similar. And this is where the interfaith harmony Lakes and HWPL comes in there, it tries to fill up the gap. The preamble of HWPL does not say that only a specific religion type of people could become the member. Does it say? It does not. It actually hosts. It hosts every, each and every individual, no matter whether they belong to any religion or they don't even. All HWPEL want is the real humans. And when we talk about the real humans, you shrink the dress of your religion. You shrink the dress of your community. You shrink the dress of your background. You shrink the dress of your color. You don't even get into this racism thing even. So when we talk to each other as HWPEL member, I'm not Pakistani. He's not Indian. He's not from Bangladesh. We are the humans. And what we are talking? The peace contact with each other, interfaith harmony, loving each other, brotherhood, spreading peace vibes within each other, across the world. And we do discuss each other's problems just like the two brothers do. So with that, I think HWPL is investing hard and it is contributing a lot. Just like that example, that the drop and the rock. So we are the drops. We keep on pressing the rock to be dispersed, to be broken, to make hole in it so that people could see that. And this is how it actually, it somehow, it multiplies from one to another one and the third one and the fourth one. Thank you, Dr. Javed. Now, if you recall memory uh, that I asked you a first question at uh, the very beginning, uh, that it, if you believe the effort of HBPL will help to achieving the positive peace that you were mentioning about, but we were expecting that you would explain more with um, activity or initiative with HBPL. However, you explained it rather in perspective of people within uh, HBPL. Now, could you explain why uh, you answered it this way? So when I mentioned about Alex or Ali, I meant that HWPL is being honest because their staff members or their members are being honest to the HWPL. HWPL itself is nothing without them. They show their real cause about their organizations. So that concept that actually started from chairman's mind, he gets honest to that concept and he processes through his heart and then he shares this with his members and their members, they get honest to that cause and they keep on contacting each and every individual whom they think that, yes, they can be the better people who would spread the voice all over. That is the thing that I, I truly regard such individuals because the concept starts from individual. It gets into a group and then it becomes collectivism. So without that particular individual, you cannot get to that task of collectivism. Chairman is he's the same human as like us. The only difference between Chairman HWPL and the other individual is he gets honest to his mind. He gets honest to his cause. Chairman HWPLP, as far as my understanding is concerned, so I think he gets honest to it. 
he thought he had a thought of an idea and then he channelized it so once you channelize it it shows your honesty as i said in my previous question so when you get honest to it the natural vibes come to you the natural people come to you and then keep on supporting you i never call myself as a member of hwpl rather i do call myself as a supporter of this cause of hwpl so there's a difference being a simple member and a supporter why i support that because somewhere in my mind i have the same sort of concept somewhere in my mind i have the same sort of a cause so when you have this sort of a mind connectivity with any individual or the organization or the group you keep on following them i do have this sort of a mind and heart connectivity with chairman's cause and when i see that there are so many other individuals who are also supporting chairman's cause i gets another individual a very small and tiny individual who also support that cause so these tiny particles they all get together and becomes a bigger ball and you and this bigger ball a tiny particle is not really very visible but a tiny particle just like chairman hwpl he comes up he tries to get other particles with him and it gets bigger big bigger and biggest so when it becomes biggest people look at it and people would follow it and then this is how it gets growing and growing and growing but it started from single small particle so with that i would say chairman's honesty chairman's i would say uh, mindset towards this cause is is really uh, appreciable and that is the reason despite being a non korean living in another part of the world i am even supporting their cause dr javed now this next question i ask you with intention of wanting to hear your healthy skepticism now do you believe that peace will happen in our lifetime okay so number 1 it is being it is already being fulfilled the example is you are conducting an interview with me trying to learn and trying to understand is peace really being spread so for that you need to be sure that yes it is being fulfilled in our lifetime i cannot comment anything but what if it is not happening in our lifetime what about the second generation what about our generation what about our kids what hwpl and we are investing in apart from what we are doing individually for livings we are also investing for its our next generations we are trying to make solutions of each and every problem for whom not for ourselves for our generations for our coming generations our generations would be enjoying it but what else we are giving it to them the peace the peace of mind the peace of their heart our generation should understand the reality of their lives the actual essence of their lives the actual enjoyment of their lives they should feel proud of being human not animals so peace is ultimate peace is something that you cannot rip it out darkness would never ever stay always a small amount of light comes in it smashes the darkness have you ever woke up early in the morning like 4 am in the morning and you see sun rising and killing the darkness and then sun keeps on raising it gives you the full light it gives you the energy peace is the light so you keep on pressing hard you keep on raising the sun the light comes and the darkness goes it washes out but for that each individual need to understand their own lives first you should understand the importance of your own life the basic concept of your own life and then you keep on spreading the information to the others and helping others so it will definitely happen it is happening already by the way and we should feel proud of it that yes we are the part of those individuals who work for peace